Good morning and welcome to Pearl Beach everyone. Well I've come down here this morning to do a painting of a breaking wave with the sunrise. So at this stage the tide's very low so there's not much of a wave happening but I'm going to head out to the point over there and um, head out over there to the point around there and we should be able to get some type of bit of movement in the water to create a good painting a good sunrise painting so yeah the beautiful Pearl Beach today let's have a look how it looks it's nice and still nice and calm but yeah I'm um, pretty pumped to um, get down here first thing in the morning it's like uh, 20 minutes to 6 so about 5.40 a.m. And I uh, want to have a go at a subject like this today. So that's how, that's how it is, you know, as an artist. You want to paint things that inspire you, things that move you. So uh, that's how I'm feeling today. So, or yesterday I thought, oh, I should go paint a sunrise. So this would be my, my um, last painting for the year. So it was a great year, and um, I was quite impressed with a couple of paintings I'd done. Most of them were pretty mediocre, but I'd done a couple of good ones, so I was happy about that, and I was able to sell a handful of paintings this year. So it was pretty good, a bit of extra money to keep me going, keep me painting. So yeah, it was, you know, nothing outstanding, but I had a good year anyway, so let's hope that my last painting for the year turns out okay so let's just get around the point up here we'll just get around there and we'll check it out oh that moss is nice and green so yeah here we go this is looking a bit better and looks like there's some waves breaking up here where the um the end of the rock shelf hits the meets the water there so yeah i'm happy with this it's low tide so i'm not going to have any dramas about getting wet or washed in the water i think i'm pretty safe around here i could probably go a bit further but it's a bit mossy there so yeah i'll get my gear set up What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my gear around the corner over here. There's a bit of there's a bit of wind coming from from the south, so I'm going to just shift around here to get a little bit more protected. Now I'm not actually painting the sun, or I won't be able to anyway. By the looks of it, looks like the sun's going to go behind those clouds there when as it comes up. But what I'm what I want is that sunshine on the water. See that beautiful colour? So that's what I'll be doing, like a crushing wave sort of subject here I'm not exactly sure yet what what I'm gonna do but yeah I'll continue to get set up around here Okay, so I've, I've worked out what kind of composition I'm going to go for. I'll show you guys. So basically, I'm going to have, it's going to be like, maybe like 70% 70, 70 sky, 30% um, uh, sea. So I'll just spin you guys around. So basically, let's get over here a bit more. 
basically I'm gonna have it sort of something like that with a on the left just a crashing wave on the left here yeah so that's what I'll go for as I get closer to working on the wave I'll come closer and I'll get some shapes in that and um, I can shape it the way I want to shape it so yeah let's get paying let's get let's get the blocking in and um we'll go from there I'll tell you what, it's a lot warmer over here than over hey, there it's quite cold and it looks like there's a bit of a storm happening down that way I'll just show you guys quickly there's a bit of rain down that way but there's plenty of um plenty of mood in the sky so I'll be able to get some something happening That's going to be the rock shelf there. There's a headland over there. Keep that. Keep that little. Um, and the wave. It's going to be. Somewhere around here. Okay, I'll start with the sky first. So with the sky, I want to build it up slowly. So I've got like a bit of a wash, bit of a shape there, bit of shapes going. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer it bit by bit, nice and soft without, you know, making it too muddy. And I'm just going to build it up and try and get the mood and the colors right as I go. Because the whole thing with this painting, it's going to be the sky and it's going to be the wave. They're the things that are going to really um, appeal in this painting. So it's still, because I've put the wash down with the block in, it's still a bit wet and tacky. So I don't want to um, muddy it all up. I just want to just gradually build it up, let it tack off. Now, obviously, with the situation I'm in, um, I'm not going to get a beautiful sunrise. So I've just got to work with what I've got. So um, it's not going to be a spectacular sunrise, but I'm, I'm going to go from the shapes. So when you, when you have a look, you look at that sky, you can see some shapes. Uh, five minutes ago, it was a lot different. That was the shape I went for before. It was a scattered sky. There was a little bit of blue on the top left and the sun was beaming through and I'm sure it's gonna come back again. So it's still quite early. So yeah, we'll continue on and get a bit of mood happening here.
don't be afraid to leave a little bit of the board coming through. I'm using aluminium composite board that I've gessoed and on the last coat I've added a bit of yellow ochre and uh, red, I'm not too sure what red it was, uh, in acrylic to my gesso and gave it that pink colour. So don't be afraid to leave a little bit of that poking through or add a bit of, bit of um, depth and mood to it. With the brush, I'm just using um, just a thin wash of it, and I'm just going very wispy. I'm trying to get that that depth of a real soft sky. Now what I'm going to do is get the colour of the light. Get that into the painting and soften it in. Try and get a real warm haze going through it.
Okay, I'm just stopped for a quick uh, cup of tea break. Well, it's changed so much since I got here. It's like stormy now. It's just changed so much. Look at it now, it looks like it's gonna rain. So I've got a little bit of shelter here. I'm not worried about the rain. I can back up and I can just plonk myself here or over there and just wait for that. But um, I've, I'm working on the water now and I'm just trying to keep the color harmony. I didn't have the, that's box head out there. I didn't have that too profound because from when, when I, the sketch that I started with, it was rural hazy, so I left it hazy. So that's how it's looking at the moment. I'm going to um, just work on the, just soften the water, and then I'm going to put the highlights of the sun on the water, and then I'm going to do the wave here, and then just bring it together, harmonise it all together, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it'll turn out okay. So at the moment, it's not bad. Just here, yeah, I don't know if this rain's going to set in or what, so I'll just keep painting them. This is where you guys probably say to me, don't pull out that palette knife, all. I'm gonna pull out the palette knife now. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my time. I'm not gonna wreck it, I promise ya. I tried my best. <laughs> I'm gonna take my time with the little trusty palette knife to get some movement and some water. Um, so get some water movement and get those, uh, get that wave looking good. So yeah, let's have a look. So this is where I'm at. I'm just gonna bring it to life. Just gently, I'll be using a brush and a palette knife. Color of the the color of the water from as it was before it wasn't like pure white it was like a cold white so I'm just trying to work out how to do it probably had a bit of let's have a look here probably had a bit of um, I'll show you guys the photo You can see that it's like a greeny blue white
more wider on the top. A bit of that sunshine colour in the top of it as well. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Now, I don't know if I've overdone it. Well, not so much overdone it, but I think I've got to just fix it up a little bit. Maybe if I continue the flow of the wave actually as it was. Sort of heads out more that way.
Okay. Okay, I've finished my last painting for the year. I'll let you guys be the judge. <laughs> but um, I was... I, th I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I'll have another look at it later, but let's have a look. So, yeah. Okay, so let's have a good look at it. So yeah, this part here, not too sure. It's okay. I think when you look at the painting as a whole, so basically from what I, from the reference that I used, I was more over there looking that way straight out. But it's just too slippery in that to stand there. That's why I come back a bit, just to be a bit safe. So, um, so basically, yeah, you're looking, you're looking out that way from over there that's the actual view that I used but looking at the painting as a whole um, yeah I think I, I've got definitely got mood I've got mood and I've, I've got atmosphere and I got the look that I wanted to get so I'll just clamp that back up give me a sec I oh, know we'll finish it off so yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. I think I, I think I I got it. I got what I wanted to get. So yeah, no regrets, no regrets. So yeah, thanks for coming along and checking out my last painting of the year, 2022. Let's hope 2023 will be a great year for everyone. Let's hope that you can get some good paintings done. Make time to paint. Get out, paint, paint, paint as much as you can improve make that next painting better than the one that you've done before encourage each other inspire each other never give up just um enjoy life so yeah thanks for coming along tell me what you think in the comments um i will be doing um in 2023 i'm going to try and find more spots to do live streams i want to do more live streams i like interacting with you guys you guys need help with anything with your art i'm not an expert i'm self-taught artist but i've got 20 years experience so i might be able to pass something on to you that can help you um so yeah just drop me a line you can contact me on um facebook tez dower um or instagram tezza t-e-z-a tezza dower um or here on the channel and uh yeah happy painting and i'll catch you next one see ya